guys, good afternoon. This is Faithlin with Elegance for Less. I am going to do another three quick, easy, beautiful, inexpensive Mother's Day gift ideas for you today again. Yes, I am going to do another set of threes for you. So leave me a message, let me know if you're liking these ideas that I'm throwing out there for you for Mother's Day, or even for your own home. I think they are adorable. So the first one we're gonna start with is this little plaque that I haul from the Dollar Tree. It has a little hook, so you can put it on the wall if you'd like, or you can have it sit on a desk. Now, I have seen these at Joann's Fabric, and they are pricey, compared to a dollar. I want to say, that if I'm not mistaken, I want to say they were around $9. So, we are gonna create one today for a lot less. So what you'll need is one of the Dollar Tree plaque. You will need, need some, some flowers. And I just pulled this off of the flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I have a little piece of lavender that I wanna add with that. You'll need some form of twine. I have this twine left over from the burlap fabric and so i'm going to incorporate that into this diy you will need a tube or a little container the dollar tree have the pack with i want to say six or eight in the pack with a little lid i don't have those but i have this tube so i'm going to go ahead cut it down to size and use it you'll need your paintbrush for your paint You'll need some form of cutting device because I have this tube I'm gonna use, so you, I will need to cut it down. If you buy the container from the Dollar Tree, you don't have to worry about that step. You will need your scissors in order to cut your twine. You need your glue gun and your glue sticks. Now we can jump right into separating this little tube here. Be careful because this is very hot. So guys, once you have separated your um, little tube, I went ahead and just run the knife over the top while it was hot, just to smooth the top out a bit. Okay, now I want to start with my paint. So while my little tube is drying, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my twine to the frame. I'll put a dab of glue down and I want to start with the center. I want to add the same rope that I used here, I want to add it on here as well. So I'm going to lay a little bit of glue down to get started. Then I'm gonna take my twine and just go all the way around. So now that I've got my glue down, I am going to, I'm sorry, <laughs> now that I've got my rope down, I'm going to add my glue. I want to add a generous amount, and then I want to put it in the corner of this section, right there. Press it, hold it in place and you can trim away these little pieces. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. 
and it says gratitude is the best attitude. I love, love that. Now, I wanna go ahead and take my little flowers and I want to position them where I want it to go, first of all. I think I'm gonna trim this little wild one away. the way that this is looking but I'm thinking I put a dab of glue onto the tip of the sign and just allow the leaves to lay on there that way it won't move just stay in place and there we are our little sign I think that's adorable. If you'd like, you can also add some more rope here. I just didn't want to overdo it. I think that's adorable all on its own. Then you can hang this on um, the wall or on the desk. You can also add a little bow if you wanted. Let's see how so I went ahead and create a little bow. And now I'm going to add a little bit of glue. I think that's adorable. There we are. Okay guys, so this next DIY is a little different for me. And I was in Joanne's fabric and I saw this trimming and loved it and thought that would be great for a bracelet. So that's what I want to do today with you is a bracelet. I'm going to make this for myself for Mother's Day. There are days where I feel funky and just want something different. So here we are, I'm gonna create a bracelet. So what I want to do, I do like the idea of having the fabric showing, but I also like the idea of folding it over as well. So that's my dilemma. I think I may go ahead and fold it over. So I'm going to lay my glue down so if you're interested in this, you will need to choose a trimming that you like. And anything goes, as long as you like it. So now I've laid the glue down, I'm gonna go ahead and fold my trimming, my ends, over. This is the way it look. Okay, so now I forgot to mention that you will need this little kit that has the parts that you can, let's open it up. So I went ahead and strung it three times and now I'm going through taking my wire and I'm going to go through all three so I can tighten it. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm basically sewing with the wire all three pieces together. Once you've strung it through, just as you did on the other side, you're going to take it and you're going to take your other end and it has the little latch on there, this little tiny thing here. I don't know if you can see it. And you're going to add it through. Let's hope I can see the difference. 
So once you get the wire where you want it, as tight as you want it, go ahead and trim off your excess. And then add a dab of glue onto your fabric and lay your tiny little wire down on there. Or you can sew it. This is just my option, but you can sew it all together. No worries. I'm gonna hold that, let it dry, and then go ahead and add my bracelet. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out, and I must confess, I think it would have been much easier sewing it because I had to switch from the small to the larger latch because I just could not see that tiny one that was on there. But nevertheless, I hot glued the back to secure it. I had to remove the wires and just went with the latch. I think overall, I love the way that it looked. And that is a little bracelet for myself for Mother's Day. All right, let's jump into our next DIY. Okay guys, so this next DIY would not be the same for Mother's Day if we did not have a cheese tray. So I want to do a rustic cheese tray and I'm going to use Home Depot. How cute is that? This is a tile from Home Depot and it looks like wood. Very nice. So you're gonna need one of these and let me tell you the good news. Good news and the bad news, I should say. These are discontinued. That's the bad news. The good news is they were only 74 cents. So I was able to get two because they only had two in the store. So I went ahead and hauled both of them. So you will need a tile of your choice. You'll need some legs. I decided I wanted to add some legs. These are uh, little blocks that I've shared with you before. I got them from Hobby Lobby. You'll need some form of handle. So I bought these black handles from you will also need Home some chain and I'm going to add these small chain links from Home Depot as well. You definitely need your glue gun and glue sticks. I also went ahead and hauled this go-to glue and apparently it's very strong for tile wood, metal, leather, plastic, stone, and apparently for everything. So I'm going to reserve it and possibly go over it after I hot glue it on. You will need a little gem just to hide, or stone, just to hide this little spot here. What you can do as well is add some glue and then go over it with a black. So let's jump right in by adding our light. Love that. Now, I want to go ahead and start adding my handle because I want to know where they're going to be. Okay guys, so I went ahead and add the chain and then I decided to add some of the Dollar Tree gems onto the handle. I really like the way that that look. So I'm going to leave it just as. So I'm gonna add a generous amount of glue. Okay guys, so I think this is a perfect cheese tray for Mother's Day and if you'd like you can go ahead and spray the back before you put the legs on and I just absolutely love the way that this turned out. Different, rustic, 
beautiful. If you like the way that these three gifts turned out, I'd say go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. I truly appreciate your time, guys.